Uh, Shep Muser here today with Detective Senior Constable Shane Curvin, who's investigating a shooting in Sutcliffe Street in South Shepparton last night. Shane, can you tell us what happened? Well, approximately 10.30 last night, um, a firearm was discharged here in Sutcliffe Street. Uh, that uh, The projectile from that firearm has, uh, has made contact with the vehicle in the driveway. And also, uh, we believe there's been a second shot, which has actually uh, made contact with the front door area of the, the residential premises here. Was there anyone home last night? Look, there was. There's a family that live here and they were home at the time and uh, a number of those uh, members of the family were awake and uh, obviously heard the, the sound of the firearm being discharged. Yep. Um, no injuries? No, no one was injured, uh, thankfully. Obviously, it's an uh, alarming situation where you have a firearm discharged in a, in a populous area like this and, uh, you know, thankfully no one was injured. Um, did neighbours hear anything or see a car or um, what did witnesses um, tell you guys? Yeah, look, the, a door knock was conducted last night in the street. A number of uh, the neighbours reported hearing the sound of what they believe was two uh, gunshots and, uh, you know, it's consistent with what the, uh, the, the occupants of this premises are saying as well. Do police know what type of gun was used? Look, it's only early in the investigation, but at this stage uh, we've had ballistics um, attend from Melbourne and uh, the indication is that a shotgun was used. And so what's the process from here? Do you guys know what the motive is or who was responsible at all for the crime? Look, at this stage, as I said, it's early in the investigation and we don't um, have a motive at this point in time and the identity of the offender is unknown. Uh, look, anyone in the in the public that may have information that may assist us, we'd, we'd uh, like them to come forward. They can contact the Shepparton Police Station or contact Crime Stoppers if they'd like to do it that way. No worries. Thank you very much. No worries. Thanks, Tammy.